again. Hey, good evening, my fellow Jamaicans. Let's go into another general discussions, and this is going to be part two of you get what you voted for. Yeah, I'm going to make that a thing. Okay, you know, because this is record requires more than one, just being a one-off type subject. Now, the first one we're revolving at the back with Julia Cuthbert Flynn and her constituents, and how she just gave everybody the middle finger by saying, "Hey, we have water problems." Not my issue, all right? Yeah, if you go back, I will say that's that's an NWC's issue. And if you heard, if you heard something that idiotic, you remember poor, the former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller's "Don't Ask Me" ex PMP when they were, when they were actually the, the media was asking her about some important matters. Yeah, just remember that. See the similarities between her, what Cuthbert Flynn and Portia Simpson Miller said. Yeah, now. The next thing, you know, part two of you get what you voted for is going to evolve around that the failed, um, failed campaign for Kamina Johnson Smith to become Secretary General for um for a Commonwealth. Now it just came to attention recently that not and not surprisingly that her campaign, as it as you may call it, that what um, they didn't really disclose how much it was to um to um to to run that damn to failure bid, and now it's come out, and yeah, when they read the, read the, um, the numbers, yeah, most people would have hit the roof, most people would have torn out whatever hair, hair follicles are left on their big head. Me and other people have sense no better. Yeah, you can be disgusted, but not surprised. So let's read, and yeah, you're going to be outraged and incensed, but. Knowing a lot of the people who keep voting in for these type of whatever governments in power, yeah, that's just going to be what off the backs. So the government forked out 18.2 million for Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson Smith's then to fail campaign, as I just said. They said that 18.2 million dollars cover expenses related to air and ground transportation, COVID-19 tests, meals, accommodation, and public relations and communications. Yeah, the way that they the most money they forked out to her, you you could have sworn that she was running for prime minister or president of some small country. Yeah, she was just she was basically treated like some royal one of the royals in Europe. But let's go on. Undisclosed Jamaican private funders donated approximately fifty million dollars for public relations and thought thought leadership services from international marketing firm Pin Partners. Yeah, this is gonna mean yeah we wanted a puppet in that in that position should you have gotten it. So yeah, we invested a lot on her and too bad that didn't get they didn't make go um, they didn't get make good on that investment. Additionally, two point twenty five percent million dollars expanded on the Commonwealth head of government meeting Helen Kigali Rwanda in June. The cost of the Commonwealth heads of government meeting the government said were absorbed by the Office of Prime Minister, which about twelve million dollars each hundred twenty two thousand eight hundred ninety seven dollars. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade seventy thousand seven thousand seven million seven hundred fifteen thousand five hundred eighty five dollars 37 cents and let's look the page i'm reading this out because you're gonna as i said most people are going to be hitting the roof when you hear this but eh, but yeah but whatever i'm doing this for a good reason all right let me just turn the page so if you hear here's some rest on the page in the background this is not one of the stories where it's all the st whole stories on one page so let's continue Minister of Tourism, which was five thousand five million dollars, one hundred thirty-one thousand dollars, three hundred thirty-six dollars. The school has made a press release from after the Prime Minister late Sunday. Me that yeah, cause I know we're not we're just know that that whole thing has been forgotten about at this point. Yeah, we just might as well just let the people know how much most of the tax money went towards paying for this woman to actually get some get some seat that she didn't end up getting. The government said it ran a clean, transparent, principal campaign that met the standards of accountability. And if you feel, and if you actually believe that, uh, I have a bridge of, of Spanish tone I'd want. I'd like to sell it. Now, they go on to the, they they go on to say this bullshit, which I have to read for the purpose of this recording. So, quote to quote: Despite not having one, Jamaica garnered significant and widespread international support. If you believe that you're dumb, you're dumb as a bag of marbles. 
the con the context made an opportunity to share views and secure understand on issue of common concern have served to strengthen bilateral relations and further enhance Jamaica's reputation as a strong boss in the international st stage. And you can tell that the person who wrote this did not believe this. That they had to write and said, "Okay, I know this is bullshit. I just have to write it because I'm I'm being paid to write this. Because this is uh, anybody who generally believes this. Okay, you've got to be." The, the guy, I mean, we obviously fell off that ter the proverbial turnip truck. All right. Now, the government said that a dedicated intensive travel schedule was pursued specifically across Africa, spanned seven countries, eight governments in 10 days. All right. It was seen as a critical effort, and there's, they just put, sprinkled more sugar on that, the, um, that, pallet, that third pallet that they just entered. All right. And then they're just going to go on to say something that I just don't care about because it just doesn't bear any relevance. A part of the purpose of this is to say, hey, we spent a whole bunch of taxpayers' money on a failed campaign that really wasn't going to benefit Jamaica, but we're just going to smooth you over because you're dumb enough to believe it because we know that you're going to be outraged at this, but hey, just like our times, yeah, that outrage is going to last for like a week and then we're just going to go back to business because... Uh, we don't respect the, intel the intelligence of most Jamaican civilians when we do stuff like this. Now, as I said before in that other recording, this whole bid for Ms. Johnson, Ms. Johnson Smith to get that rep that position, that was just for her, that was just her being put in place to be a figurehead for certain figures. And the fact that Boris Johnson, who gave us a kiss of death by him, does Camina Johnson Smith, yeah, they just basically mean that, hey, I'm doing this as a favor to him, to Britain, as well as certain these other, um, these other special inter interest groups. And, and the thing about it is that Jamaica is not going to benefit it. But the garland thing about this is that majority of this went out to Jamaican taxpayers' money. Now, they, now, the overall figure, I believe, is about $45 million for, for, this, for this ridiculous campaign that was not going to really benefit the whole country and yeah they'll say that hey part of it was from from the bam um, for these other businesses donated or to donated because you know that if she had one that she'd be doing doing them certain favors in order to pay them back for all the money invested to her the thing that's very telling is the fact that all that money they wasted on this so-called campaign of hers a lot of that could have been used to actually help improved infrastructure of Jamaica. Now, in a, in a society was not where we don't have this plantation like system that were not run by by sellouts, agents and turncoats, that would be logical. We would have a Jamaica where most of this money that came out of taxpayers' money would be going back to a helping to improve infrastructure Jamaica, helping to pe people to get better jobs, helping people to um, adjust to how the cost of living which keeps going up and up all right just like blue helium balloons that go up into the stratosphere if we live in that type of world we do not live in that type of world instead we live in a jamaica where this is just one big sleep plantation where our so-called leaders in both parties are the plow slave or plantation owners who are doing the bidding of their slave masters overseas and you know who I'm talking about when I do it, because Jamaica is run by people who believe that they're still this is still a European colony, and we are just acting treating Jamaica as such. So that very notion that we're going to actually use that money to actually benefit Jamaican people, who a majority of us are in the lower class, many of us don't have opportunities, many of us deal with uh, deal with. Um, high, um, high cost for education, high cost for food, high cost for living, crime, corruption, and all types of ills that were purposely put there. That money could have gone towards helping it. But then again, if you if you understand Jamaican politics, your goal is not to actually help the Jamaican people. Your goal is to help rob, exploit, and take advantage of the Jamaican people by doing by by screwing us over by. Taking our taxpayers' money, we're not improving the cost of improving the cost of us getting better paying, better, um, better job opportunities. We're just going to suck you dry, and then we'll just put it on. This goes towards these campaigns that benefit us and people in these higher circles. 
and this is a middle finger and this is this is basically a middle finger now most jamaicans who read this are going to be incensed and rage but prime minister and they're just going to say yeah okay yeah we basically just spit in their faces we took all your tax most of your taxpayers money and we're and it just went to towards them because you notice that nothing's going to say hey we're going to actually pay back all that money to the people that um to the jamaican people that always say hey we're going to compensate you all for all the money you basically gave to us a prop in this this field um this field candidate of ours yeah i mean we're paying back all those investors that we who definitely are not happy that they that they invested in back the wrong horse yeah they'll get back their money but there's the jamaican people yeah you're gonna say dog name is supper now I say no. I say this like with the Julia Cuthbert Flynn coin. Said, yeah, we can get angry at the government when we should. This, but at the end of the day, is that the people, the people who keep voting and supporting these whichever governments and power, and I don't put on one particular party. This is what you voted for. It's gone more and more the longer these agents, whichever parties in power. They're going up to the part where they just blatant into the fact that we have no regard or respect for the Jamaican public. Because they know nothing's going to happen. Are we going to be mad at Kamina Johnson Smith or Andrew Holmes or whoever? Yeah. As I said earlier, this is going to be a one week moment of anger. And then we're just going to go back to, um, back to looking the other way whenever they do bullshit like this. Yeah, because remember, people are forgetting about the Juliet Cuthbert flame by now. Because no one said as... Um, ran to her presence with torches and pitchforks and saying after that bullshit to say what the NWC and how that's their problem at first yeah we want to gone from this gone from this constituency yeah yeah, yeah you can tell as Mavada said touch the road after he said but and why would Julia Cuthbert Flynn or in Kamina John Smith you already say yeah they'll get mad for a little bit they'll blow off some steam they'll cross in line whatever and then by in seven days, we're just going to just we're just going to back to say, yeah, you know what, we're we're just going to forget about this though, I mean, and we're going to go back to voting for you in the next elections, cause they figured, hey, we don't have any good comp competition in the opposition, so yeah, all the seats are secured. I said, Kamina Johnson Smith, she's going to be fine. She'll just be. I'm sure she's back in the go. But um, she's back. And she's gotten. I'm pretty sure that one now she's gotten back her seat in her in. You know, I'm in a constituents, or I don't remember if she had one, but I'm sure she'll have her her links or connections within her party and beyond. She will be back in a cushy, nice office job, jo office job, yeah, making a six figure salary, and then she'll just be going about her business. Cause what what prices do I really pay? Yeah, I mean, as inconvenience, I didn't get position, but guess what? I'm living better than a lot of the morons who keep voting for me in my party. So, yeah, I didn't really lose anything. Yeah, and her, Julia Cuthbert Flynn, are probably at this moment having a good laugh seeing stuff like this. He said, yeah, we can, yeah, we can, yeah, our party can basically just tell everybody that, hey, we can give the, literally give the whole country the middle finger right in the front of, right in the public eye, and they're still going to vote for us. Yeah. So yeah, we basically yeah, we basically are in good standing. And I say to say again, this is what you voted for. You can't get mad at these these MP the government at a certain point because they at this point are telling you time and time again what they really are on. And at the end of the day, is that just getting mad at them is not really going to affect their life, their livelihood or anything. Because I said Bruce Golden came out. Seen some gibberish, which I, I can't even bother remembering in great detail. Like he has basically tried soft peddling his role in um the the, the Dodos debacle that caused him to resign over a decade ago, and yeah, and you still have some dumbasses defending him online. Cause Bruce Golden understands, yeah, yeah, I yeah I I basically threw jeopardized the public image of my own party. Would me do do handle do this thing, but guess what? I get I got I get to walk. I, I kept my freedom and livelihood. I'm still living better than most of the people who keep supporting me. What did I got to really lose? Just like with George Wright, and cause this, this rumor that they're gonna is a possibility. I don't know if it's true that they're gonna bring back to GLP back within the GLP. 
if that ends up being true, I'm not surprised because they figured that, hey, we can do the most disgusting, outrageous, and despicable things publicly. We're not going to pay any consequences because at the end of the day is immunity from law for whichever party is important. That's more important than our public image or even that very pesky idea of accountability. So all I can say is that we can get mad about this thing with we're on with Kamina Johnson Smith's failed attempt at being at failed attempt at being Commonwealth Secretary. Guess what? At the end of the day, is y'all voted for these people? Suck it up, because most in most countries, um, most of the people in the current government and in the previous one would have been resigned or been facing criminal charges or inquiries would have been brought in. Yeah, all right, yeah, we already have inquiries, but inquiries that would have successfully punished these people. But yeah. I say it again, y'all got what you voted for. You can be mad about this debate about this until the next until the next controversy comes, because that's gonna come. There will be some more just as egregious as this and then it'll be and I'll be re releasing part three of you got what you voted for. So stay tuned. This was State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Gus and Farron, Miles Productions with Thoughts and Miles. Alright.